what are the signs of a failing injector on your diesel engine? It's critical that we spot these signs because it can lead to other issues, particularly if your car has a particulate filter as well. And we need to bear in mind that modern diesel injection systems are operating at really high PSI pressures of say 15,000 to 30,000 PSI, that's about 1,000 to 2,000 bar. And some high performance applications go even higher than that. And when you're operating at such high pressures, even a small degradation in the injector's performance can have a big impact on the car's performance and the efficiency of the engine. One of the most significant things you'll notice is a lack of fuel economy. The fuel economy drops and that's because the injector is not atomizing the fuel as effectively, making the fuel harder to burn. And in some cases, the diesel engine may be chucking more diesel in because it's not atomizing correctly and may be exacerbating the problem even further. It may feel like the engine is slightly misfiring. It's not idling evenly at certain points in the RPM range. You might have a flat spot or be down on power. And this is often where just one injector is not working correctly and the engine is trying to do its best to balance things out but it just can't because that one cylinder is becoming a bit of a problem. As the injector starts to fail you may notice an increase in emissions. The emission readings may go up if you get it analysed. You may just notice extra soot coming out of the exhaust and that can be down to the fuel not atomising correctly or it dumping too much fuel in because the injector is starting to degrade or leak. Thankfully though most modern diesel engines will actually tell you when there is a problem. You'll get a warning light come up on the dashboard, an engine check light or a check engine light or an engine management light may flash up on the dashboard just indicating there is an issue. And using the onboard diagnostic port, the OBD2 port, you can download any error codes and that will generally give you a good idea as to which injector and where the problem is and what is failing. Other manifestations of injector problems can just be hard starting, especially when the engine is cold, where just one injector starts leaking a little bit, that effectively downgrades the pressure on the entire fuel rail and that affects all of the different injectors. This can also result in a noticeable loss of power. And sometimes the engine might be prone to stall. If you're just idling at traffic lights, for example, you may notice the engine just cut out. And that can often be a symptom of a faulty injector. If you open up the engine bay, you might notice the smell of diesel and that can indicate a leak. You shouldn't really be smelling diesel fuel in the engine bay area. Some diesels are more prone to this than others. But in the main, if you notice a strong smell of diesel fuel, you've probably got a leak somewhere in the fuel system and they're generally quite easy to spot. You'll notice a wetter part on one of the pipes, one of the feed lines or even on the fuel rail itself. If we fail to use the opportunity to diagnose the problem using the OBD2 port, the problem is just going to get worse. It's never going to go away. Often running good quality fuel cleaner through will go a, a long way to maintaining the efficiency of the injector. But if the injector is old and worn, it's not going to repair that wear and tear. All the injector cleaners are going to do is reduce the silt and grime that builds up on the injector itself as a byproduct of the combustion process, the heat cycles the engine is subjected to, and little contaminants that you get in the fuel as it is injected. This has a knock-on effect. If the engine is not burning efficiently, it's producing more soot, and that is going to play havoc with particulate filters. In fact, most times I see an issue with particulate filters, it's down to a problem with the fuel system or some other issue in the car. The particulate filter is working as it was intended, but the engine is chucking 10, 20, 30 times more soot into it. So those regeneration cycles are becoming much more frequent or it's struggling to keep up with the regeneration. As we're talking diesel injectors, we should really be talking about cetane on fuel and how cetane encourages the fuel to burn. It burns quicker, more cleanly, more effectively. You get a faster flame front coming through the cylinder and that enables you to optimize the engine to produce more power. I hope you found this video useful and it's helped you to just notice some of the symptoms of a faulty diesel injector please boot the like button that really does help us to get out there if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so would hate you to miss out on all the other great diesel content we've got coming up and i've lined this video and this playlist up for you that you should find really interesting thanks for watching see you in these next videos